All right, as you come in, let's go ahead and have you finish these two things this morning. We're gonna use the first 10 minutes of class. And I want you to take, the first thing is a quick quiz on what do you know, what do you know about cellular organelles? What do you know about cells? It's completion, so don't stress. Some of you are like, I know nothing. That's okay. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about cells, but I need you to take that so we know what a starting point for our class is this year. Going into a new unit, we're starting unit three. And then if once you get done, play this word wall game. It's the same thing over cell organelles. It's okay. We're all just waking up and getting warmed up this morning. <laughs> Very few people are ready for a Monday morning. So we're going to make it the best we can together. Yes. That could be an anthem. That could be a song, guys. No one is ready for Mondays. Right, so as you come in, you should be doing these two things that are on the board. And I'm going to shut my mic off for another couple minutes while you finish these. I'm going to put a pull up. I'm gathering data so both of these sites will show me who took them. Okay. Both of these sites will show you who show me who took the quiz and who played the game. All right. But give me on the poll this morning <clears throat> a green check when you have finished those two things. I'm about 15 people, 15 out of 54 have completed these two things. It is 840. Let me give you a couple more minutes. All right, some of you are still working. Oh, Alex, I may have just not put that it ends on Wednesday. So we have class Monday through Wednesday this week. It may not have showed up as reoccurring. 
So I'll make sure it says that you have a scheduled class. Sorry about that. Nineteen of you. Nineteen of fifty-five have done these two things. My ratio is not impressive. It shouldn't show that you got your teacher wrong. It's okay. <laughs> there will be different teachers because as a biology department, we share the survey. Strange glitching. I'm sorry. <laughs> so give me a green check when you have finished the a uh, quiz and game. I'm going to check in on the quiz results real quick and see where we're at. I'm hoping because that's important. The quiz is only five questions. Okay. All right. Our odds are just not in our favor today. 22 out of 56. So it is important um, that when you're here, here in biology class that you're here with me, okay? Um, I try not to overload you with assignments or things that I ask you to do, but when I give you these things in class, it really is important to me for um, your success, all right, that we log in and do these things. So I appreciate those of you that followed the instructions this morning that are at your computers <laughs> and that are participating, all right? Wonderful job. So I just want to encourage you today. Ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. All right. How do we want to feel at the end of this week? Tell me in chat. How do you want to feel at the end of this week? How do we want to feel at the end of the week? Brianna likes that. Yes. So you like to feel like some confidence in what you've experienced through the week. I like that. You like to feel like a scientist. Awesome. I like to get to the end of the week and not feel behind. Okay. How do you like to feel at the end of the week, Alex, Kaden, JB? How do you guys like to feel at the end of a week? Like I'm about to eat Mac. <laughs> You like to feel tired. Well, let's think about these things. We don't like feeling, do we like feeling sad? Do we like feeling behind? Do we like feeling buried? <laughs> Good, we like to feel satisfied. We like to feel confident. We like to feel on top of things.
not to feel stressed. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do one thing to get ourselves feeling that way. All right. Caden is having a bad Monday morning. So let's all just let's lift him up today. OK, let's encourage Caden today. And then, Caden, we are we are going to encourage you and then you are going to take a step in the right direction. Everyone gives Caden some encouragement. It's one thing we appreciate and like about Caden. I appreciate that he likes to put himself out there and be show us his talents. I always sometimes I've had talents in my life and I've been too afraid to show that to people. I love that mo like the last couple Monday mornings he's done some hip hop dances for us. And that's brought me joy. What are some things? Yeah, Hidden is the best at dancing. Kaden has a good sense of humor. How many levels? I'm not sure, babe. I forget. All right. He has good sense in costume choices. Absolutely. <laughs> not only do we like your dances, Kaden, but we like your wardrobe attire that you bring with it. I like that Caden comes to class. He's consistent. Okay. Peyton, you're a rock star today. Yes, Caden, supportive of everyone else. Yes, Kinsley, good. So, Kaden, hope, hopefully you're feeling the love this morning when you're down. All right. And I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you all today to do one thing to get yourself. So, if there is, if you have five overdue assignments, I want you to get one of those overdue assignments done. Okay. If you don't have an overdue assignment, I want you to get everything. I want you to get something done today that is assigned for today so that you aren't behind for tomorrow. Hey, being a genius, I think there is a lot of ways to be a genius <laughs> all right and to be a genius i think you need to be clever and that would be when you start feeling down not to let that overtake you but to take a step in the right direction which is our motivational monday quote all right don't get stuck in how you feel in your moment today do something to get you where you want to be going that is my pep talk for the week. We do have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're gonna learn about cells, it's gonna be fun. I have a super awesome project that does involve music for all my music lovers. All right, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be super exciting. I'm gonna give you some of those details on Wednesday. But it is Monday. So what are our Monday goals? We would like to read our what are we going to do today what are our monday objectives we're going to do in biology today sorry i had food in my mouth right there <laughs> all right tell us what we're going to do today's goals are to state the parts of the cell theory list the level of organization within a multicellular organism and also answer the question, what is the highest level of cellular organization? And how is a eukaryotic cell different from a prokaryotic cell? Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Perfect. You're going to have to do something with your presenting voice in your career. This week, 
we only have one quiz. It's tomorrow. It's just going to be over our cellular organelles, which we're going to talk about today. We're going to do a little activity on tomorrow. And then we have a project we're going to talk about on Wednesday. Okay. So cells. Cells are, I want you to think about cells like Legos. Who play, had, has had Legos ever in their life? Played with Legos in some location. Me. What do you do with Legos? Milo, you want to grab me some Legos? Yes, building blocks. Build weird stuff. <laughs> Build, create. Good. Ooh, this is something that Milo created with Legos. What can we, sorry, there we go. What are some things about Legos that we can look at and identify about Legos? What are some observations we can make about Legos? Oh. Kensley said, you're very creative, Myla. Myla. Kensley said, you're very creative. Oh, she says, thank you. Awesome. So what can we say about Legos? Well, Legos, how, how big are they? Are they small? Are they big? They're smaller in size, right? Some are larger than others. Some are different sizes or shapes, but they're all relatively small, right? They're a perfect, like, trap <laughs> for any walking or person. They're this big. Thank you, Myla. All right. Yes, if you step on these suckers, it's guaranteed to hurt. All right. So their sizes vary, but are small. What about their color? Different colors. I love, like, you can see even in this thing that she's built, that they even have different almost like purposes, right? That looks like some type of railing. So they did make different pieces for different purposes. Now they can be used for different things and different creations, but they, you know, this is clearly some kind of ledge. Awesome, and cells are like Legos because cells are the basic unit of all living things, all right? A cell is the smallest living thing, all right? There's nothing, Nap some piles of Legos. For some reason, I, I don't doubt that, JB. Yes. Um, so, what was the smallest non living thing? Who remembers our smallest non living thing? Yes. Everybody type atom. All right. And atoms are made out of what? Atoms that make up living things had one element that was a common element. Yes. See, look at you. That's a test question, Kaden. You got this. Carbon. Everyone type carbon. So all of our cells are made from organic molecules called um, atoms that are non-living to make up the basic unit of life that we would like to compare to a Lego, and those are called cells. All right, cells are microscopic. That means you cannot see them with just one single cell with your naked eye. Ooh. Sorry, I'm yawning this morning, I'm tired. 
<laughs> All right, so a cell is the smallest living thing. That's the very first thing we need to know today. So everybody type cell equal smallest living thing. You are alive and learning and are on the right track to having a better week and feeling confident. We can remember cell equals the smallest living thing. All right. Cells are the smallest living things. The second thing I need to, you to know about cells is they have jobs. All right. They have three important jobs. One is to make what? Somebody read it for me. Make. What are the three jobs of a cell? Somebody pop on your mic. I know you are just dying to talk today. Kaden, JB, Alex, Jaina. Cells have three. Oh, there it is. Cells have three main jobs. Make energy, which is needed for well, quite literally everything, and er, energy is needed to clean up waste produced by making more energy. Make proteins, or er, those do literally everything that energy does, except we need more of it. And we're er, making more cells to make more energy and more proteins, and also use those energy and proteins. Perfect. Perfect. So the three things that our cells are important for is energy, protein, and more cells. Energy, protein, and more cells. We need a word for that. EPC. What can we, EPC, energy, protein, cells. Is there a word that we can EPC? Oh, I didn't even type it right. EPC. It's kind of like epic. <laughs> right? Cells are epic. What are your what's your phrase for it, JB? Let's hear it. Ooh, expand production. I like it. I like it. Expand production cells, EPC, energy protein cells. <laughs> it's almost, yes, I like it. In general, expand production. But how do you expand production? Don't stress, Andrea. Everyone was saying that to you. I'm so sorry. Don't stress. I've recorded it. I'm going to put some links on the board. We just are getting started, to be honest. All right. Well, our first one was that the first thing we learned that you've missed, we're on our second side, is that what, what friends? Cells are the what? Smallest. Yes. Thank you, Brianna. So to recap for Andrea, cells are the smallest living thing. That's what you've missed. And that we, the job of cells, I want to say are epic minus the C, E-P-C, epic. <laughs> All right. They make energy, make proteins, and make more cells. So cells, they're the smallest living thing, and they're epic. They make energy, proteins, and cells. All right. Everybody put EPC. Oops, I just typed our EPC. Energy protein cells. They're epic. The job of cells are epic. They make energy. They make proteins. They make cells. All right. Perfect. Last thing I want us to know about cells today. Okay, well, not the last thing, but the... Three greatest things are that cells are the basic unit of life, that the role of cells is to make energy, proteins, and more cells. And the last is our cell theory. Caden, can you read the cell theory? This is very complex, you guys. This is very complex. 
What is our cell theory, Kaden? Uh, uh, sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> Things just dropping all around. I don't know. Cells come from other cells. The cell theory. Yeah. Yes. Cells come from other cells. Isn't that so crazy complicated? I love to bring things down to you. Do you like that cartoon? <laughs> all right. All cells come from cells. That's the cell theory. All right. That no matter where the first cell started, all right, that it is it is constantly producing new cells. So all cells have necessarily, they have a mother cell, okay? They were born from another cell, just like you were born from your mother, okay? So cells are the what? Smallest. Good. Cells are the smallest living thing. Cells are the smallest living thing. <laughs> you don't think you might toast this stuff to your mom. Oh, that made me laugh, Terry. We're getting there. We're getting there. And what about the job of cells? What is the job of cells? Cells are the small uni smallest unit of life. Cells are epic, right? They expand production. Yes. They make energy. They make more pro make protein and they make more cells. And if I ask you what the cell theory is, what would you tell me? Cells come from other cells. Good. I think the one that in the actual theory is all cells come from pre-existing cells, but that just means all cells come from cells, all right? It had to pre-exist to come from it, right? Just like all humans come from pre-existing humans, all cells come from pre-existing cells. I know we, we will get to that, all right? Where did the first cell come from? Still up for debate, right? But it did start with one. We know that for sure. Because we are not able to manipulate life. Questions of the universe, right? <laughs> All right, quick poll. How do we feel about the cell theory? Cells come from cells. Cell is the basic unit of life. And all cells, the function of cells are to make energy, make protein, and make other cells. Where are we at? <laughs> Good. Most of us are feeling decent. And if we're not, that's okay. Class is not over. And we just start started unit three. That's okay, Alex. Scroll through these really quick. Okay, I see. <laughs> no worries. Awesome. So cells come from pre-existing cells. Cells survive and are alive because they make energy, protein, and other cells. Cells are the basic unit of life. What element, we hit this a little bit earlier, what element do you think, we talked about this, look at this cell though, or this or this graphic organizer, I love it, right? We talked earlier in unit two about atoms. All the atoms that exist are matter, all right? They take up space. If you look around your room that you're sitting in, you can look at things, and if you see them, they're made up of matter, just like my window and the blinds and the curtains they are not alive but they are made up of atoms all right they take up space they have a mass 
those are all made of the elements that are on the periodic table. At least one, if not several, that make molecules. Those molecules make up organelles, and these groups of organelles that work together make up cells. What is the um, element that we talked about earlier that is found in anything that is alive or that makes up these organelles that, yes. See, look how smart you are. You're so smart. If you can't see unit three, it's because I don't have it opened up yet. <laughs> It'll open up after class. All right, so we look at our cells. Our cells make up tissues. The tissues make up organs. Organs make up organ systems, and those organ systems make up organisms. All right. So let's talk about some organ systems. What are some organ systems that you know about? Type them to me in chat. Think about your body and the organ systems that are in your body. Ooh, good job, Di JB. Digestive system. Your digestive system is important for everything you put into your body that you eat. Digest, and then it gets pumped through your circulatory system. Good. Your circulatory system. Oh, Kaden, you do have a big brain. All right. Your circulatory system starts with your heart, your veins, and your arteries that send your food through your blood to the rest of your body. All right. And your heart being this, your skeletal system, good. All those hard bones that make us rigid. They give us strong composition. Muscles, good. You guys are rock stars. Cheese, <laughs> yes. All right, so this is the last thing I want us to hit today. Cells come from pre-existing cells. Cells are alive because we need them to make energy, protein, and other cells. Cells are the main units of all living things. And there are two types of cells, all right? Two types of cells that exist. They're called eukaryotic and prokaryotic, all right? Pro equals no. Oh, I like that, Brianna. Pro equals no. All right, pro has no nucleus. You're absolutely right. The nucleus is like the brain of our cell. It's where all the DNA and functioning comes from. Prokaryotes do have DNA, but it's just like if our brain were separated into just pieces that were all over our body, okay? There's no central protected area for the DNA in a prokaryotic cell. They're much simpler cells, okay? Prokaryotic cells were most likely the first type of cell to exist. And then the eukaryotic cells that have a nucleus, okay? They were probably an adaption from this first cell. I've got, so bro, a pro equals no, I like that, Brandon. Prokaryotic has no nucleus. Are you ready? EU, it equals true, all right, EU equals true. They have a true nucleus, so that would be my trick for that one, EU equals true. I can't type today either. They have a true nucleus. They also, EU equals U, as in Y-O-U. You have eukaryotic cells. You have cells that have a true nucleus in them that protects that DNA, okay? They're both cells. They both have organelles. 
but everything in the prokaryotic cell is much simpler. Okay. So as we leave today, as we leave today, please write as an exit ticket on the board. Ready? So we made it to the end of our lesson. All right. I'm going to put up a poll so that you can tell me how you feel about these. So the cell theory, cells come from cells. Okay. The levels of organization, we talked about how we came from atoms and we talked about those elements and molecules that made up, make up our organelles, that make up our cells and tissues and organ systems. All right, and lastly, we were talking about how our prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are different. Eukaryotic cells and pro have no what? All right, I want you to tat up this board as you leave. Tell me what eukaryotic cells have, what prokaryotic cells have, what both are as you leave. Have a good Monday, guys. Look at me. Mond Mondays are always the best day of the week for me, but let's make Monday good. All right, let's not live in our emotions of, of how we currently feel. Let's look at how we want to feel today. All right? You are smart. You are capable. I am proud of you. Okay? I'm so glad. I'm so glad it's better now. All right. And if you need me, I am here to help you. All right. So give me a text. Give me an email. Give me a call. Let's take a step today to make the rest of the week better so that when we get to tomorrow, we feel good. When we get to Friday, we feel great. All right. You all make me smile. I'm so proud of you. Have a wonderful Monday. And we will catch up soon. Don't forget to put something on the board today before you leave. Oh, sorry, that helps, doesn't it? I wondered about that. There you go. You've got permissions now. Thank you.